That but one. In Islam, does God have an image? No. He doesn't have an image? No. No form? No, we don't know how God looks like. It's not like humans. Doesn't, doesn't it describe what Allah looks like in, in, the, in the Quran? It says he's, he's uh, got like two right arms, he's no. got a face, he's got eyes. No. He's that got a shin. It, it, that one, yeah. in the Quran, even in the Bible, it says the same. God has image, it says God has image in the Bible, yeah. but in the Quran it doesn't say God has image. Okay. Okay, so it's not like humans. God in Islam, we believe, he does not look like his creatures. So he does not look like humans, he does not look like angels, he does not look like trees, he does not look like and his creations. But you don't know what he looks like. No, we don't know how he looks like. Whatever he says, he's got face, I cannot say it's like your face. It's like me saying, the dog, yeah? Dogs have face and hands. Does that mean I'm a dog? Because I have face as well. So it doesn't make me a dog because just I have a face. Dogs have face, but it doesn't mean I'm a dog. See? So God in the Quran, it says and uh, God has face. But it's not like us. Because in the Quran, it's Allah himself said, God does not look like his creatures. So his face, we don't know how it lo Allah looks like. We cannot... Now someone asked me to draw God, it's haram in Islam, and I'm not a Muslim. I cannot draw an image and say this is Allah. That's blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Because I don't even know how God looks like. How can I draw a picture of God? Because even in Hindu scriptures, it says God does not have image. So what I was asking, no, I will show you that verse. Can you search up, uh, Ali search up that verse? I'm sure that verse, it says in Hindu scriptures, God does not have image. So if God doesn't have image, so Lord Krishna and Ram, all of them are not God then, based on this scripture. Do you understand what I'm trying? Okay, let me come, let me come to the point. I'm not well versed in Hinduism, so I'm like the worst person. Okay, to Hindu, to be honest. Hindu scriptures. There are many. God does not have image. Uh, okay. See? Hold on, I am working. Okay, let me say which verse says God has no image. Okay, let me search up and search up now. Yeah, I found out. Okay. I found one verse here. I don't know how to read How do you read this one? Oh, that's Sanskrit. And San there is no likeness of him. So, yes? Okay, there's no form of Nirguna Brahma or God or Supreme See now? Oh yeah, no, that's different. That doesn't mean... This is scripture. What does it say? Uh, what is, does it say? It says there is no form of Nirguna Brahma or God has Supreme... Okay, here... Consciousness. In the, but here it says... Form in the sense like... Okay here, okay, here it says here, there is no likeness yeah, of him. there is no one like him. Okay, if there is no like him, then how can you say God looks like a man? See? No, because that's how we relate to him. He doesn't look like us. That's how so we is, relate to him. Okay, if God does not look like us, how can Lord Krishna and Ram be God then if they look like us? Do you understand what I'm coming to say? them in the image of us. That but it says right. there's no likeness. No, there's no likeness. Like we are not divine like him, are we? Okay. In terms of everything, be specific. Are you being specific? In or? divinity. In divinity. How can I be close to him in divinity? That what it means. Like there's no likeness to him. Okay. Can you ex define that? Can you give me more details about this, please? About no, in, uh, there's no likeness in him. Like explain more, please. Like you said in divinity, yes. Like can you describe the divinity of God? Divine describe God. Consciousness. Describe he's, God. He's a supreme personality. I don't know. He's the one. I don't know. Is God human? No. So is Lord Krishna human? No. He's divine. But he was a man, yes? 
you said incarnation. It's incarnation, but that's not, see, that's how we as Christians, you understand like Jesus is God, you say, right? So you understand he's divine, he's not really the human human that you and me are. It's different. So, are you saying God... And you know what, I prefer that, because God is then close to us, you know? Then someone just being there and I don't know how he looks like, I don't even know if he exists. So I prefer what we actually believe in as Hindus. And I'm not the best person to describe it because I'm not too religious. And I can't explain as a person who is a learned Hindu can explain. The, the, so I'm the worst person to debate with being a Hindu. Because no, it's I, not about debating. No, no, no. It's it about discussing. I will feel like discussing. I will be misrepresenting yes. beliefs of Hindus. Yes. Because I'm not religious. Okay, I understand you. Yeah, I understand you. But what I'm saying is, in Islam, let me explain to you about God. God is not human, first of all. This is how we define God. He's not human. God is not human. I so, think. and God does not change his shape into human in Islam. Because by saying that, in Islam we believe God is holy. He does not go to the toilet. He does not sleep. He does not change his shape. Even in the Bible it says God does not change his shape. Even in Islam we believe God does not change his shape. So if I see a man, a random man, and he claims to be God, you can't believe he's God. Different times. I mean, that's your okay. belief. So now, what am I, so, and, and, do you believe Lord Krishna and Ram, they have parents? Parents? Yes. Do you know the story Do they of have Lord parents? Krishna? Does God have parents? Do you know the story of Lord Krishna? Yeah, explain it to me. To no, explain uh, it to me. It's quite different. You can't say like they had parents, they gave birth. There are different stories and there's a reason why he came. So they have different stories. Like yes, what and story? why they came. I don't know too much into it. That's why I'm not debating on this. Do you know one of them, please? Like, uh, do they have parents? Okay. Do they have parents? Yeah, they came through... Uh, through parents? Kids, kids. Parents, yes? Wait, I don't know how much. No, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure because one of my Hindu friends, and we used to go to the same school, he told me they, used, they had parents. I'm not sure. Yeah, but they were still divine. They came as God's incarnation for a reason. Okay. To spread that so, message. Okay, do you believe God has parents now? No, God doesn't have, but that incarnation And Lord Chris, does. is Lord Krishna God? Yes. 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 So Lord Krishna has parents. Yeah, but he came And as Lord Ram has parents. He came as incarnation to spread a message through you. Yeah, so. Okay, so they have parents. So and in the verse now, you just read now, we just read, you, it says there is no likeness yeah, of so God. So likeness, the form as a man, so no likeness to when him. we say there is no likeness to him, which means in Islam, he does not have parents, he does not have uh, children, no mom, no dad, no, f and, 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 uh, and, and, no ancestors. God was always God always existed. He's last, Fair first, enough. and last. Fair enough. That's your way of believing. I believe. So do you believe way this way? I believe my which way? way okay. Is more beautiful. Okay. Which way do you think is can say this way describes God as holy? How God has parents yes. and He stayed it in His matter. mom. It comes to an incarnation to spread a message. And you know what? I believe that because I feel more closer to God than I would in any of the other religions. Okay. So which one do you prefer, Lord Krishna or Lord Ram? I feel more closeness to Lord Krishna. Krishna. Yes. So if you believe all of them are God, why are you not given same rights as the Lord Krishna? No, because see, that's a very different concept. That I think you have to open your mind more to understand it. Okay, let's say now, you have parents, mom and dad. Both of them, they have same name parents, yes? So you give same rights. So since you believe Lord Krishna is God and Lord Ram is God, and you said you believe more than Lord Krishna than the other one, so then you're not, you, you are not, you're not giving same Lord rights. Vishnu. They all are part of Lord Vishnu. But I believe more likeness in Lord because I love him Which more. one is your more favorite? Lord Krishna. But he's part of Vishnu. If, so I love if you, Vishnu the most. So if you are I to, like that incarnation of Vishnu the most. So if you are to worship an, 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 one of them, who would you worship? I worship Lord Krishna. I worship multiple. No, no. Who, who would you think? If someone would I give you an option. Multiple. Many gods. Yes. But you prefer Lord Krishna. Yeah, in my person, because I 
I consider to him to be my brother. Like in, that's my relationship with him as God. So if you, let's say if you have a, now you have parents, yes, mom and dad, lovely mom and dad. Yes. So would you not give them same rights? No, they're human. No. I love my parents more than anybody. I know, but Even would you God. not give them same rights to your parents? Huh? Would you favoritize one of them, your mom and dad? You would give them. But you can't compare God with. No, no, I'm just saying to you. That does so, not make no, sense. do you know what? No, do you know? Okay, if I'm not comparing God, uh, if you don't want me to compare God and parents, okay, fine. So now let's compare God. So you say Lord Krishna is God, and Lord Ram is God. So why can you not give them same rights? Why do you prefer they Lord Krishna more rights. than the they other have one? All same rights. It's because the time they came in, you can relate more to them. So it really depends. But is that not same God? It is the same. So why do you but prioritize Lord Krishna? We freedom. We have that kind of freedom to, you know, be close to the God we believe in more. So you prioritize Lord Krishna and you believe all of them are I same God? I love Lord Ram also. I but love all Lord you prefer Lord Krishna? I prefer because I have a special relationship with him, a special bond. Why? Can you tell me why, please? I have its personal reasons. No, you can tell me, please. I would like to hear from you. Politely. I don't have a brother. Huh? I don't have a brother. So I take him as my brother. Like, he protects me like a brother. I love him like a brother. So are you saying... I have that freedom to, you know, have that relationship with my God. And I think that is beautiful. That so, no other religion does offer. Okay, so now you say... So, to me, what I understood from you, you said you love Lord Krishna because he protects you more, yes? No, it's because I have that bond with him. Why? Be because you treat him as your brother? Yeah, I share that bond with him. Why not? So, you believe all of them are God, yes. but you treat Lord Krishna more than the other God? No, I never said that. I have a special bond with him. Doesn't special. mean I don't respect other gods. No, I'm not I'm saying, but you respect more Lord same. Krishna no, than the not other. Respect. I have a special bond with him. Bond is different. So why is special for this one? I don't know. I just have that. I feel spiritually more inclined towards him. That's it. But you said to me, Lord Krishna, Lord Ram, all of them incarnated. Yeah, but they he, are all God. Yes, but so I. So if they are all God, one yes, God or two but gods? I feel more close in that form that he's taken any other forms okay. but I love and respect all of them equally okay are they all one God or two yes. different gods no they all are Lord Vishnu's incarnation oh, they're all one God yes? yes one God so if they are all one God then Lord Krishna should be Lord Ram as well because all they of them are the same. they are the same if they are the same they've why do you prioritize times. Lord Krishna then because they have come in different times and they have different nature like how Lord Krishna came he's very playful he's very friendly I love that about him you know, I am more spiritually inclined to him. Sister, do you understand what you said now? I am. Yes. But I think you don't understand. No, I understand what you said. Sister. No, no. I understand you said all of them, they incarnated the into is, human. They are all God. You believe in one God. Yes. And you believe in a certain way that that God is. Okay. You are not more open to how Hinduism works. And for me, it's difficult to explain to you because... I think there's a block and you don't understand how Hinduism operates. Okay, who has more spiritual okay. and I can't explain. I openly agree. I'm not a scholar in Hinduism. And I have not read much about Hinduism. But what I know I love and Lord I feel Christian. more spiritually open. I, I love my religion. Okay. And there's no one in this world that can convince me otherwise. Okay. Who do you think has more power? Lord Krishna, Lord Ram. It who has more power? It doesn't matter. I know God has power. What and God? I don't have to, you know, okay. put what God? Oh, what God has power, has, please? I don't have to think about like, You believe Bhagavad Gita? Wait, wait, wait. No, yes. Yes. Bhagavad, okay. Bhagavad Gita chapter, verse 7, chapter 20 says, Those whose minds are distorted by material desire, surrender unto demigods and follow the particular rules and regulation of worship according to their own desire. Those who are freed from all material contamination surrender unto the Supreme Lord and engage in His self-devoted service. Yes. 
So I mean, the, your book says yeah, only so engage yourself to one that? goal. So that is true. Okay. So if I am with Lord, Lord Krishna, Lord. that is still comes from Lord Vishnu. So that is me surrendering. So who are the dummy gods? Who are the dummy gods? Who in this verse? Who are the dummy gods? You ask. I just said I'm not well versed with Hinduism, so you can't ask me that. Okay, sister. Ask for somebody who well, okay, is well. a scholar. Okay. Yeah. What verse is this? Chapter seven, verse okay, 20. Okay, sister. I'm just here to No problem. Go. Yeah, sister, no problem. You're just discussing this. Time. Nothing to worry. Don't worry about it. No, no, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm don't worry. Yeah. In my oh, we are welcoming you here. First of all, you. nothing. You are safe here. As long we are here, we are here to defend you. Don't worry. Nothing is going to happen to you. So what I'm saying, sister, what God? So do you believe God has power? Yes. Yes. Okay. So what God has power? Lord Krishna or Lord Ram? But who had, has more power? They have same power? Yes. Same power? They are God. So why do you choose Lord Krishna then over Ram then, if they have same power? The bond is different. But you believe all of them are same, one God. So if you believe same, they are same God, you should choose all of them. I do choose all of them. I don't think I... What I believe personally and the bond I share, I need to explain that to any other person. I don't need to explain to anybody. Okay, can, this is my personal okay, can God be created, this is sister? Heart, this is my personal love. I have okay, for Lord Krishna, wait, wait. which I will never, or I have to defend it. Sister, can God be created? No. Can God be created? No. So, can God born? Incarnation. But incarnation, that born. incarnation, he born, yes, from yes, his mom. Yes. Can God born? I don't know if he was from the mother. There are different stories, so I can't tell. I'm not a scholar. Okay, who created uh, Lord Krishna's it's mom? Okay, who created Lord Krishna's you know, mom? That's why no, I understand. Yeah, incarnation. I think because sorry, sorry, I don't God. think you understand the concept of incarnation, divinity, yes. and stuff. No, I understand your incarnation, but what I'm asking is. Who created Lord Krishna's mom? She was human. We human. But she Who was, created she her? Given the, Who what, created her? God created her. God. What God created her? You know we have the destroyer, creator, and the maintainer of the universe. Who is the creator then? I think it's Rama. Rama is the creator. Yeah. And Lord Krishna is what? He's incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu. Lord Vishnu. So what what is the job of Lord Krishna? Time wait, to wait. Spread brother, brother, please. Thank you. Thank you. No, I want you to respect the sister. Okay. You can't. No, you said confused. You can't say confused. Say sister. No, no. He's saying it's confusing. No, not you. He's saying I'm confused. Okay. Sister. See, it's, I think it's different because Hinduism is. Very okay, tell me spiritual. what God creates. What God creates? Hinduism is a very spiritual religion. And okay. I think it's unfair for me to explain it as a lay person. Okay. Um, I would be disrespecting it and I would be misrepresenting the Hindus around the world. Sister. Um, no, it's not correct on my part because I am not that religious. I'm okay. very spiritually, I'm more spiritual. Yes. And I love Lord Krishna. I born with him and that's my person. Is Lord Krishna a creator? The God of creator? No. So, he's incarnation of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu. What is the and job of Lord Vishnu? No, I can't explain. Please, that sister, I'm you know a lay that. person. Oh, who is, okay, what God is the creator? Tell me the name of the God, that God, creator God. I think it's Brahma. Ram, eh? Brahma. Brahma. Okay, Brahma. So, Brahma is the one who created Lord Krishna's mom, yes? Yes? Maybe, I don't know. Because you said he's the creator. Yeah, but Brahma I'm a is the creator of the Lord Krishna's I'm a mom. Person. You have to ask somebody who's well versed in Hinduism to so, debate. Okay, so Lord Krishna was created by Brahma because he's know. the creator. I don't know. You just said that Lord Brahma yeah, is the creator, sister. That, I know that, but I don't know the bit. Like, I'm not into the religion. So I'm like the worst person to okay. talk about Hinduism. Okay, sister, if I ask you one question politely, eh? yeah. let's say you are the president in a country. You are president. You are the president of India now, let's say example. Can we have in India two presidents at the same time? Oh, I've heard this before. Can we have? Trying to argue with me okay, that. can we have but same president in India? No, because you know what? That doesn't apply to Hinduism. Okay, so now, That's okay, let me give you an example. Okay, let me give you an example, sister. If Lord Krishna wants to rule India and Lord Brahma wants to rule India, who would have more power? That's not how Hinduism works. 
works. That's not how spiritual, how we believe Hinduism works. Okay. I think this is a thing I cannot explain because I'm a lay person. Do you believe a country can have two presidents? No, you can't compare two presidents, politics, humans to something that is so, religious. So, but you believe God? We in this world we can have many gods: Lord Krishna, Lord Ram, yes. and Brahma. Yes. Yes. Brahma is the creator. Yes. Yes. And uh, Lord yes. Krishna is the incarnation of God. Yes. What God? Of uh, Vishnu. Vishnu. Not the incarnation of Brahma. No. So technically, Lord Krishna is not Lord uh, and Brahma. They have their own. There's a creator, there's a maintainer, and there's a destroyer. That's how we believe in Sister, Jesus. look, I'll repeat what you said. You said Lord Krishna is God incarnation, God. He incarnated. It's God, but incarnated into human. Lord Ram is God incarnated into human. Lord Brahma is God incarnated into human. But Lord Brahma is not incarnated. Well, it's not incarnate. That's the b major one, the biggest God. One of them. One uh, is the biggest one, yes? The creator one. Yes, Brahma. Okay, Brahma is the creator. But Lord Krishna is God, but he's not creator. Yes? And you believe God is the creator. The incarnation of Lord Vishnu. You're confusing No, yourself. I understand the incarnation. No. Okay, I will repeat for you. Is Lord Krishna creator? No, no, no. You're majorly confused. Okay. And I've heard these arguments coming okay. to me, me being Hindu. Yes. And you can't compare politics, humans, presidents, prime ministers, to all of those things, to something that is so spiritually superior. Yes. Hindu is very spiritually superior. And yes. I'm the worst person to debate about it. Yes. Uh, but you know what? I believe everybody's religion to themselves. I don't debate about religion. It's a personal thing, and my personal bond with Lord Krishna, I'm not defending, I'm not explaining to anybody, because that is my personal belief, that's my personal bond, that's my personal Sister, love. can I, I ask you a question? Yes. Do you believe your religion is the correct religion? You know what, I don't care. No, do you believe? No, according to you. Yeah, I, I do believe it's good, but you know what, I think we uh, need no, to No, do you believe it's the religion. correct religion? I yes. don't, firstly, I don't need to defend Hinduism. But do you believe that to call people to your religion? I don't call people to my religion. That's not my job. So, okay, where will they go other than uh, the Hindu? Where will they go if I they die? I don't the need to tell people what they should do. Would God punish them should... no. other than Hindu? No. What would God we don't do? believe that. The thing is, we don't insult people from other religions. Yes. We don't uh, keep names for them. We believe in freedom of religion. Believe what you want to believe. I believe in what I want to believe. Let's live and let live. You know, I think that will be a much peaceful world than trying to tell other people you are wrong, your religion is wrong, no, no. you're this, you're that. Sister, yeah, I'm not into that. Okay, my Allah, Allah God in Islam, He's the creator, He's the all powerful, He does everything by Himself, He's self sufficient. But your God, That's good. same God, Great for you. Lord Krishna is not the creator, you. but he's God. Great for you. And you believe Lord okay. Vishnu you know is what? the creator. So how can Lord Krishna be God if he's not the creator? And you're confusing yourself. Yes. But you know what? It's fine. Um, your religion to you, great. Who what brings the rain? Sister, who brings the rain? Huh? If Lord Krishna says, I want you rain. How rain comes, I think science explains that really well. But is that not the power of God? No, it's science explains it really well. How Do you believe science comes? or God? Huh? Do you believe science I or you your book? I believe in science. Over your I book or your scriptures? Because our, our religion doesn't say don't believe in science. But science what if science reality. goes okay, what if science goes against your it scriptures? It doesn't. Shall I give you one example? Shall I give you an example? Your religion go against uh, science? No, that my religion. No, no, no. I'm saying in Islam, in Islam, in Islam, if science goes against my religion, I'm not taking science. So, do you take That's science always. over your religion? Yes, science. Do you take yes, science? Always. Always science yes. over your scriptures. Yes, I believe in science. See, I'm not very okay. religious. Okay, if you believe but science, believe then science how can you believe you your religion is the correct science, religion? Then you're ignorant. Okay, so you now, have to believe in science. sister. Sister, science says anything that you cannot see and touch does not exist. And they, it says God does not exist. Most of the sci scientists are atheists. Yeah, they enough. believe God does not exist. Do you That's believe science then? I, be I don't believe in what the scientists believe. I believe the discoveries they make. 
but not everything they say. How can you not when there is evidence? Do you believe everything science says, sister? Or you believe in, in some cases? No, some... if there is science, I study, like I read books. And yes. if something, there's research going on, there's science, there's evidence, whatever, then you believe in it. What? But science says there's no God. Most of them, they okay, say there's no God. Why. Do you believe God doesn't, there's I no God? I don't care what they believe in. But you just said that's I believe what science God. say. I believe in what science teaches us about the universe, about the planets, about medical research, about, you know, all of those kind of, about okay. discovery. Can you tell me, sister, one thing, where is Lord Krishna now? Huh? When, where is Lord Krishna? Oh, he's, obviously he's God, he's in heaven, right? He's God. gone to heaven. With who? All of them, where are they? Where is Lord Krishna, you Lord Ram, Brahma? My God is above. Yeah, yes. My also God is above. All of them. Yes. All of them. Yes. So one is the creator. The other one is what? Who is the creator? Rishnu. You know what? No, you're mistaken. I think. The Who thing is the creator? Is, you're confused. Um, I can't explain Hinduism to you. I'm not the best person. Again, I'm saying this. I'm a lay person. Um, a scholar would be able to explain that to you. But me, I'm happy where I'm at. I just came to the park to have a walk. I hate debating about religion. Sister. But I'm very happy in my space. No problem. Thank you. Do you and believe God God is the creator? Only God is the creator. Do you believe that? Yes? I don't care actually. No, do you believe? Be. Yes, okay. No, do you believe only God is the creator? He made all of us, humans, all of us. Yes, do you believe Not that? Just humans. He made yes, everything. everything I'm saying. Yes? So, and you said to me, Lord Krishna is not the creator. So if Lord Krishna is not the creator, okay, no, no, no. No, I know incarnation is God. explaining any to you, anything to you beyond that goes beyond your religion okay. is a waste of time. Okay, what about Lord Ram? I don't have the Ram, is the Ram, Lord Ram creator? Is the Ram creator, sister? I just told you they're incarnation. I know incarnation, but are they the creator? That's how Hinduism works, oh my days. So, you speak but to somebody who's learned, again I will tell you, yes. I'm a lay person, Yes. I'm not the best person to explain. And if I try to explain, yes. I think people will abuse me. No, no, uh, no, 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 no <laughs> one. Be like, Sister, stop guarantee, no, no, no one can not touch them. you. No. The people who actually learn will be like, you no. should not talk unless you no, know. No, 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 no. Sister, we're here to learn from each other. I'm humble in myself. No, I believe positive. you know many things that I, I, I do not know. Don't we all? Yes. Don't we all? So what I'm trying to learn from you is... You can't learn religion from Lord you. Ram, Lord Ram is the incarnation. Lord Krishna is the incarnation. Brahma, and is there any other God, Lord uh, who incarnated? Tell me. If I try to explain these things to you, it might take until tomorrow or the afternoon. No, afternoon. just a few just a few minutes, sister. Explain it to me. I will listen to you. So now, my, my understanding, you said Lord Ram is God, incarnated. All of them are God. Yes. So, and the definition of God you gave it to me is the creator. And you said Lord maintainer Krishna. And yes, destroyer. maintainer. So who's the destroyer? Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. So Lord Shiva is the maintainer. And Lord Rishnu oh is the creator. Again. So, the and you God. believe all of them are God? Yes. One God? Or oh, two gods, three gods? Three gods? Yeah. Three gods. Okay. So, three gods. But each one of them have different power. Is that what you're saying? Yes? No. I cannot answer that. Do they have same power? I can't answer that. So, how can they all be God? And the definition of God is all that. powerful. I can't answer that because I'm not a learned Hindu. You need to debate a Lord Krishna. Sister, you just say Lord Krishna is not the creator. Lord Krishna. I know, but he's God. Yeah, so? If he incarnated, See, is he human? The way we believe in religion is very different to the way you believe. So it's going to be very hard for you to reconcile with our beliefs. Uh, but you know what, I can't debate beyond that. Because it's not I'm about not debating, learned. sister. No, no, no. It's, I, can't, I can't because I'm not... Um, learned enough to do that but i'm very happy in what i believe in and yeah that's it. what if what you believe it doesn't make sense it does make sense to me perfect it makes sense perfect. so god is all powerful one of them lord krishna look, is not the creator shiva not is the maintainer Jesus. but lord krishna is not the maintainer but they are all god sister 
If they are all because God, why can they not do the same thing? Your way of understanding how God and your religion is, it's very limited. So I can't go beyond and explain. And sec firstly, I'm not learned enough to explain. But for me, my religion makes the best sense ever. And I'm very happy. I don't need to defend it. It's too great for me to defend. I don't need to defend it. I'm just do you a believe human. God is all powerful? I'm a mere unlearned Sister, Hindu woman. Do you believe God is all powerful? Yes. Powerful. So he can do everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So if God can do everything, can Lord Krishna create? Again, I'm going to tell you. Ask no, Lord just tell Hindu me, please, person. sister. No, I cannot ask. see. You just told me Lord Vishnu is the creator. Prama, I mean, Prama is the creator. Krish, um, see, you know Shiva what? is the maintainer. Because our religion is so old and it's so spiritually advanced, for me to sit and explain, it's going to be like. Nah. Is Allah, uh, sister, Allah is the creator, maintainer, all powerful, no parents, he does everything by himself, he's self sufficient, okay. and uh, gods, many gods, three gods, Good for you. who does not have the same power. No, it's not and you the way choose you which one you want you to. You don't understand the way Hinduism works, but. Good for you. You can follow your religion, be happy with it, live and let live, right? Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm getting it. Okay, one verse I'll give you from the Hindu scripture. The Hindu scripture says those who worship created man, created man. But that's different. That's an incarnation. Created man no, is okay. different. So created man. And you have to give me the verse where it comes from. Yes. It says clearly, I know I don't know the verse course, number, no. but I know it but says which verse? I'll we show have you. Many books. So you, you believe only uh, you cherry pick the books? I don't. I can't cherry pick it. I have to learn Islamic it from God. the start. Huh? You tell her Islamic God. I yeah, I told her Islamic God. Good for you. Okay, sister, sister. No wait. Your Islamic God to you, my Hindu no, God. No, no, I told her. I, I know the concept. I yeah, the I concept. told her. My Allah does not have parents, no children. But you know what? He does not sleep. He does not look like his creatures. He does everything. He does, he's the creator, he's all powerful, he's everything, he does everything by himself, he's self-sufficient. So sister, be happy in your religion, I'm happy in mine, let's live and let live, and I'm not going to defend. Sister, but you believe in India, can they have three prisons at the same time? You, firstly, you can't compare, that concept of comparing, comparing, but if, it's okay, very poor. What if Lord Krishna says, I want to do this, and Lord Ram says, I want to do this, who would you take? Okay, anyways. Okay, yeah, anyways, uh, okay, okay, okay. She, the sister just told me okay, okay, okay. there is Lord Krishna, there is Lord uh, uh, Shiva, there is Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva is the maintainer, Lord Krishna, she loves more than others, Lord Krishna. And she said the creator one is Lord and uh, Lord and uh, uh, Brahma. Brahma. Prama is the creator, I think, she said. And Rishnu is the image, and, and, and Lord and Rish Krishna took the image of, he's the image of Lord Rishnu, but not the image of Lord Shiva and Lord Prama. But she believes all of them are same God. Not same God, but all of them are gods, but different gods. So here's the question I ask her, who's the creator? She said Lord, and Lord Prama is the creator. And she's, I asked who created the mom, the mother of the parents of Lord Krishna. She's a Lord Prama created. If Lord Prama created Lord Krishna's mom and Lord and Krishna himself, because if his mom is created by Lord Prama, then Lord Krishna was created by Lord Prama. But she favoritized Lord Krishna. She said he's my like my brother than the rest. And she believes all of them are God, but she's not giving all her God same rights. It's like me having parents, my mom and dad, and I've given them different rights, not equally. I'm not treating my mom and my dad equally. But she prefers Lord Krishna more than the rest of the God. And all of them have different roles of duty, different roles. So you can tell, I would, I would say, may Allah guide the sister. She knows what she's talking is confusing. And she's also admitting Lord Krishna is not the creator, but the main one who creates. And she said all of them have different roles. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.